Okay, I'm going to show you how to solve an extreme Sudoku. It's from the Dell Extreme Sudoku section of their book. I believe it's a medium. And they call it extreme because you can see that the cells going diagonally are gray. Uh, what that means is in every row you have to have 1 through 9. In every column you have to have 1 through 9. In every box of 9 you have to have 1 through 9. And on the diagonals you have to have the digits 1 through 9. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, um, I like to do the top, middle, bottom um, technique. It's a good way to, to get going on this. So I can see with one, one of these two has to be a one. I like to just draw the little ones and put a box around them. Um, here we have one, one. Uh, so I can tell you that right now this one has to be a one. And I just drew the two boxes there, but that tells me right now um, that there's a one on the top, there's a one on the bottom, and one of these two had to be a one. It has to be the middle right there. And that's the technique, basic technique for solving Sudokus. Um, the only difference with this is we're going to check the diagonals as soon as we get a few more numbers in. So there was one, two on top, two on bottom. One of those in the middle has to be a two. We don't know which one it is. Three, bottom. Aha, here we go. You can see that one of these cannot be a three, and one of these cannot be a three. The only place left is right here on the top. So we have bottom, top, one of the middle is a three. Not enough information to go any further. Four, there aren't any fours, so let's go to five. Top, middle, bottom. One of these three has to be a five. The only place it can be is right there. So we'll put a five. All right, six. I can see that there's a six on the right, a six on the left. One of these two has to be a six. So I'll put a six and a six, draw a little box around them. And over here I can see that this middle row, or left and right, no six, no six. One of these top two has to be a six, so I'll put two little sixes, put a box around them. Now the nice thing about this is if I have sixes in the top two, sixes in the top two, that tells me that one of, that the, that the six in this um, box of nine has to be in the bottom. One of these two bottom ones has to be a six because the top two are already taken. It can't be that one, so it has to go right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're on seven. I can see that seven is on the top. I don't know which of these three is a seven, but I know that one of the three in the middle has to be a seven because the bottom is taken. So middle, top, bottom. One of these three has to be a seven. It must be this one. All right, now we're on to eight. Bottom, middle, top. Nine, well, I can see that nine has to be the middle. It cannot be the bottom. This is a middle, so it can't be that one. It can't be that one. So nine must go on the top. And since one of those had to be a six, this has to be the six. And um, I'll erase the sixes here. Now, earlier I had written a six and a six here. This tells me that the middle can't be a six, so the top has to be the six. All right. Now I've just done one through nine, a couple other little tricks that I like to do. If there are only two boxes left, we know that, that, that what those two have to be. Um, if there's one through nine, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know that these have to be a four or a nine and a four or a nine. So I just put a little four and a nine and circle them. Um, and while I'm at this, I can look diagonally and just see there is no 4 or 9, so there's not enough information there. Um, if I wanted to show you how the extreme works, I could say 1, none of those are 2, none of those are 2. One of these three has to be a 2, not enough information. No 3's, one of these has to be a 3, not enough information. 
that could be a four. Four. There's just it's too early to do the diagonals yet, so I'm going to keep going um, with the across. I can see in here with the one through nine. There's one, two, three. No fours. No fours. One of these has to be a four. I also could have told that was a four because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So I just got went through the top. Oh, and on the top here. Out of this row, there's one thing that's missing. It's got to be whatever 1 through 9 isn't there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. No fours. It's got to be a 4. All right, so we've narrowed it down quite a bit. Let's go to the next um, middle section going across. So top, middle, bottom with the 1s, nothing. 2s, not enough 2s to do anything. 3s, bottom. Okay, threes are not in the left, they're not in the middle, so one of these two has to be a three. I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to draw the threes. Uh, threes here, not enough information. Four. Four has to be middle, right, left. One of these two has to be a four. Now here's where the X, the extreme, comes in handy. I can see that a four can't be in the right, it can't be in the middle, it has to be one of these two. But when I look up here, I see that's a four. That tells me this cannot be a four. One of these two has to be a four, it can't be that one, so the four must go here. So actually the extreme, the book tries to make it sound like it's harder, but that's, it actually gives you more hints. So four, middle, not enough information for anything else. Five, uh, let's see, I have top, um, oh, we have left, middle, one of these two is a five, I don't know which one, but I'm going to write them down, put a little box around them, and over here, not enough information, okay, six, top, bottom, middle, seven, one of these top two has to be a seven, because there's a seven on the left, there's a seven on the right, so one of these two is a seven, and not enough information anywhere else. When I go to eight, middle, not enough info, oh, top, middle. One of these two has to be an eight. I don't know which one, but I'll put the eights here and put a little box around them. Nine, okay, bottom, Not enough information. I'll go on to the bottom section and go across. Top, middle, bottom for the ones. There's not enough information to do the twos yet. Threes, bottom. Okay, we have left, middle. One of these two has to be a three. It can't be um, the left because of this. It can't be the middle because of that. So I'll put the threes here. Um, here we know it's not the, um, the, this box is used, so bottom, okay, not enough information. Four, okay, for four, we have the right side taken and the top taken, so four has to be one of these two boxes. So I'll put a four and a four, just to use as future hints, four, four. So one of those two has to be a four, I'll look diagonally, I don't have any help there. So top, middle, bottom. One of these two has to be a four. Now, I know one of these two must be a four because top, middle, bottom. When I look diagonally, there's a four. So that tells me this one cannot be a four. If this one cannot be a four, then this one must be the four. Now we're on to five. Okay, five, we have left, middle, one of these two must be a five. One of them must be a five, but it can't be the bottom, so it must be the middle. So now we have bottom, middle, top. One of these two must be a five. It can't be the left, so this is a five. All right, six, we have top, middle, bottom. There's only one spot in the bottom that can be a six, so I'll put the six here. Seven, we have top, the middle is full, so it has to be one of these two. 
One of these two must be a seven, it can't be the right. So the seven must be right here. And now we have top, bottom, one of these three is a seven. We don't know which one it is. We do know that it's not the middle. So I think I'll just draw in a little seven right here and a little seven right here, just so I know that seven is either there or there. Um, eight, bottom, it can't be the middle. One of these two must be an eight. We don't have any hints up here, so I'll write in the eighths. Put a little box around them. Bottom, top, middle. One of these three is an eight. It is not the right, it is not the left. So if one of these middle ones has to be an eight, it's not the right, it's not the left, it has to be the middle. We'll put the eight right here. And then we're on to nine. Uh, let's see. Left, middle, left, right. One of these two must be a nine. I'll go ahead and put the nines down. Put a little box around them. There we go. Now um, I can go up and down and do the same, the same thing that I did. Um, one thing I can do before I get there though, if I look in this column, there's only two missing squares. So I may as well write down what they are and circle them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two or nine and two or nine. So I'm going to put a two or a nine right here and circle them. And I'm going to put a two or a nine right here and circle them. And that didn't really do anything for me, but it's just more information. Um, all right, I'm going to go up and down now. We'll see what we come up with. One, right, left, middle. Two, right. Aha. Two cannot be in the right. The middle is full. That means it must be on the left. This has to be a two. Now, if this is a two, and this is a two, we have two and seven on the right, we have two and seven on the left, so we have to have two and seven in the middle. So I'll erase those sevens that were there, and I will write down two seven and two seven, and that'll come in handy later. Um, three. Well, one of these two is a three. Doesn't do me any good. Four. I know that four has to be, it can't be on the top, it can't be on the middle. One of these two has to be a four. I'm going to go ahead and write them in. Um, just for future reference. And now I just noticed, it just caught my eye. Four, if I go up here, this has to be a four or a nine. It can't be a four. So that tells me that this must be a nine. And if this is a nine, this must be a four. And that's, um, that's how we do it. Uh, let's see, I can't even remember where I left off, so I'll just start over. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four. None of those are four. Aha. Four had to be here or here not a four, and that means that this one must be a four. And now I'll erase a little bit of this, just so we have it looking a little bit cleaner. All right, now we're up to five. Five, five, five. Six is middle, right, left. Seven is left, middle, right. Eight and nine, aha. Nine is middle, it can't be right, so one of these two has to be a nine. There, and one of them has to be a five, that means this is a five or a nine, and this is a five or a nine. But nine cannot go here, so if nine can't go on the bottom, then this must be a five, and if they have to be five or nine, then this has to be a nine. All right, now, let's see. We'll go on to the middle column, or I can go ahead and fill these in too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These have to be either three or nine. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the, those and write in three or nine with a little circle. And there we go. 
Now let's go on to the middle um, column, big column. One, 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 right, middle, left. Two, not enough information. Three is middle, right, left. Four is middle, left, right. Five is middle, left, right. Six, left, right, middle. Seven is right, middle, left. One of these three has to be a seven. Um, the only place it'll fit is right here. So I'm going to write a seven right here, but you can see that one of those had to be an eight. So if I put a seven right here, that tells me that this one has to be an eight. And then when we look below, one of these two had to be an eight. It can't be this one, so eight has to go right here. All right. So, and now we're up to nine. So let me keep going. Nine is left. Uh, one of the top two has to be a nine. So I'll put a couple little nines here. And nine has to go here or here, not enough information. Okay, uh, let's go on to this next uh, big column. One, 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 not enough information there. Two, not enough information. I know, I do know that two has to either be here or here. I'm not going to write that down. Three, not enough information with the three. Four has to be right. Can't be the bottom. It can't be bottom. It can't be middle. One of these two has to be a four. It can't be that one. So I'll put a four right here. And then when I take my eye down, I see that this had to be a four or a four. Well, that one can't be a four, so the four has to go in the middle. There we go. And now we're up to five. Five is left, middle, right. One of these two has to be a five. It can't be the top. So we'll put it right here. Six is middle, left, right. Seven. I can see it's going to be one of the two outside. Seven's got to be one of those two. We don't have enough information. Eight, right, middle, left. Nine is middle, left, right. One of these two is a nine. Not enough information. Now I've just gone across each of the big sections and I've gone up and down each of the big sections. Um, now I want to check the diagonals and see if I can find anything out on the diagonals. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. I'll start with this direction. Um, one, two needs to be in one of these. Two's got to be either here or here. Three has to be in one of those. Oh, my eye just caught this. There's a nine. If that's a 9, this has to be a 2 or a 9. It can't be a 9, so it must be a 2. If the 2 goes here, and one of those two had to be a 9, I wrote that down earlier, so we'll put the 9 right here. And now let's go back to this again and see. 1, 2, 3. There are no 3's, so I know the 3 has to go right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we have one through nine on this diagonal. Let's go ahead and try one through, oh, another thing. This is a two or a nine, and this was a two or a nine. If I just made that a two, this must become a nine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other diagonal, and then I'll clean some more um, things up. One, this cannot be a one. Oh, there's the one, okay. Two, two, two. Two. two has to go here or here. Not enough information yet. Three. Three can be here or here. Not enough information yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not an eight. There's the eight. And then nine can go here or here but not here. 
Now it's time to go back and clean up some of the things that I noticed. Like for example, here's a 9. Well, one of those two has to be a 9. If that is a 9, that can't be a 9, so this one over here must be a 9. And now when I look up and down here, I can see there's one missing number. So whatever it's got to be, whatever is left, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 is what's left. So, and now when I look across here, I see there's one missing number. Well, I already see that that's a 3. This had to be a 3 or a 9. It can't be a 3, so it must be a 9. This was a 3 or a 9. It can't be a 9, so it must be a 3. Now when I look across here, there's only one missing number. I can do it across, or I can just check it in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I know it has to be a 7. Plus, I had written down here that one of those two had to be a 7, so I could have done that earlier. All right. The bottom is done, and now um, I'm just going to keep looking here. I see there's two here. I ought to write down what they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These have to be two or three. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and write down two or three for each of these. When I go this way, I notice there's only two diagonals that are missing. There have got to be two or three, but let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if that's a two or a three, this also has to be a two or a three. Um, it hasn't given me an answer yet, but it gave me more information. When I look here, I see there's only one thing missing. One. There is no 2 anywhere, so that must be a 2. Now, I just told myself that this has to be a 2 or a 3. Well, it's not a 2 anymore, so now I know it's got to be a 3. Now, there's only one thing missing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The only thing missing here would be a 7. And we're getting very close to being done with this puzzle. I, I know what this has to be because there's only one thing missing in that column. 1, 2, 3. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. There's no 3's, so this is a 3. Now, earlier I'd written down that this has to be a 2 or a 3. It can't be a 3, so it must be a 2. I'd written down that this has to be a 2 or a 3. It can't be a 2, so it must be a 3. I'd written down earlier that this had to be a 2 or a 7. It can't be a 2, so it must be a 7. I'd written down that this had to be a 2 or a 7. It can't be a 7. It must be a 2. And now we're almost finished. I can just go ahead and I'll do top, middle, bottom on this just to fill it in. One, 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 two, two, two is not on the middle, it's not on the top, so it's got to be on the bottom. And now I can just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is how you solve the Dell Extreme Sudoku. They call it extreme because the diagonals have to have 1 through 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, both directions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, 1 through 9 on the diagonals, and actually the extreme are easier than the um, ones that don't have to be diagonal because it gives you more hints. I hope this was helpful. Um, thanks a lot, and have fun solving Sudokus.